What's up guys? Welcome to another video. You already know the vibes. You guys like that? I kind of like that. I'm kind of feeling that saying, you know, everybody's kind of got their own thing that they do. I think it's going to be mine. You know what I mean? As you guys can tell by today's title, we're going to be doing a get ready with me, but we're going to do something super unique, a Q&A. I know. First off, I'm currently with that AC again. So, we're going to have to do this with my fan on. So if that's what you hear, I apologize. But I'm sweating just sitting here. Anyway, let's get right into this video. I've been wanting to do this video for such a long time and I'm finally getting around to it. I don't wear makeup ever. And so whenever I do, it's like a whole thing. I set aside my entire evening. I'm not even going to work out. Just so I can make this video for you guys. Make sure to subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys get to know a little bit more about me. I'm gonna be doing a full face of makeup. So usually when I do my makeup, I usually do like BB cream, some highlight, a little bit of blush, a little bit of bronzer, curl my lashes and call it a day. So that's not the deal today. Let me just show you guys the look that I want to be doing. Oh gosh, what if I can't pull it off? Do you know how embarrassing this is gonna be? I also want to practice my makeup for whenever me and I go on our date. We're gonna go on a date in two weeks. A little longer than a few minutes later. Yeah. Knocked it on my door to bring the portable AC. We got that in my room, so we had to change locations. But I'm also on the phone with my with my amazing boyfriend. But he also put me on pause, so how amazing is he? JK, JK. I'm about to prep my face while we're on the phone. And then by the time he gets to where he needs to be, it'll probably be time for me to get the makeup on. I'm priming with this e.l.f. primer first. It's the portless face primer. Oh my god! And then I'm gonna go in with this Unicorn Glow Long Wear Primer. And I focus this mostly on my T-zone because this stuff is amazing. Perfect timing, he just hung up and we're done with prepping our face. So, we're gonna zoom in a little bit. As you guys can tell, we got a little bit of pimples going on. First things first, we need to deal with my eyebrows. Thankfully, I just did my eyebrows, so they're not gonna be that difficult to do. First question, <laughs> we're already starting off like this. What's the last thing that made you cry? Well, personally, I don't really cry that often, in all honesty. Let's see, what's the last thing that made me cry? I don't think there was anything specific, but I did cry a lot last week. But it was like a whole bunch of different things. So I'm not bold, I promise. Even if I did remember, I couldn't say exactly what it was because that's going to be for another video. Going in with this Wet n Wild brow gel. This is what the brow gel, the first one that I just used, looks like. What's your Enneagram? So, I want to say, let me text my stepmom. <laughs> she remembers mine, and I don't know how I don't remember mine, but... Pomade or... No, no, no. Pomade scares me. Pomade literally terrifies me. So we're just gonna use our Benefit Brow Pencil. That looks so crazy. I never do my eyebrows like this. Okay, this is what we're working with. <laughs> Guys, trust the process. Like, honestly, that's all that I can do as well. <laughs> oh, gosh. Judge me if you want. They look kind of good. Kind of look like twins, you know what I mean? Describe your life recently in one word. Very interesting, actually. Before I answer that question, though, I'm going to use my e.l.f. camo cc cream i don't have foundation i do not own foundation by choice not for me and then i'm gonna use my illuminating bb cream on top of that oh my gosh that was way too much so i've been applying my makeup with a brush so we're gonna do that again okay so back to the question my one word would whoa <laughs> Never put this much makeup on. Okay, hello skin. Hi girl, what are you doing? 
I already look very, very flawless. I'm not even gonna lie. We just got face makeup on. Anyway. I'm gonna do two words, strange and unpredictable. That's all I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna shape my brows now. I think we need to turn the exposure down a little bit because I do not look like this, I promise. See, that's so much better. I know, I probably scared everybody off. The base of the face. Whoa, 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 focus on me, girl. What do you think you're doing? All done with the base of the face and then the brows are finished as well. As concealer, I'm gonna use CC cream again. This is the It Cosmetics CC cream. Definitely burn enough to be concealer, I'll tell you that. Next question. What's something that makes you proud of yourself? Let me think. One thing that makes me really proud of myself is my dedication and my independence as a 19 year old five foot Hispanic female, honestly. And I'm not being dramatic about that. Those things within itself play a huge role in who I am. And I'm proud of how far I've come in all honesty, as cringy as that sounds and I'm only 19, but just me personally, not even, you know, my, my personal life or anything, just me personally as a person, I've come a long way from where I was five years ago, specifically. This makeup is looking very spectacular so far. Blow this all out. Looks like I have mascara on, but it's literally just my lashes. <laughs> the bronzer that I was just using is from Gigi Gorgeous in the shade, the Six Sculpt Extra. The next question is, do you have piercings? So, Yes, I have piercings, silly you. So I have, not that you care or asked, but three, six, nine, 10, 11. I have 11 piercings. I used to have two right here, but they got infected. Fun fact, I actually did my third cartilage by myself and my third piercing by myself as well. These two I did by myself, but both times they got infected. So I just realized that that was just not meant to be. Now we're gonna do the eye makeup. I'm using the James Charles Morphe palette. What motivates you? So, there's a lot of things that motivate me. Again, as cringy as that sounds, like anybody else, you know, everybody's motivated for different reasons. My motivation is my future and where I wanna be. I have a goal for myself that I hope I can achieve one day. No matter how hard it is and no matter how long it takes, I, I want to get there. That's one of the biggest things that motivates me. I feel like this is the same for everybody, but my family motivates me a lot. But, you know, I actually, obviously every family has their struggles and every family goes through things. Of course, my family has gone through things, which is normal, you know, like I said, every family goes through things. I wanna be able to provide for my family and I wanna be able to give my family certain things that they don't have or they're unable to have. And I'm the oldest of five siblings, so, they're my biggest motivation ever. Are you guys Christian? So this girl specifically, I know who she's referring to. She's talking about me and I, my boyfriend. I can answer for both of us. Yes, we are both Christians. I'm Christian. The next question is, how much weight have you put on since starting your fitness journey? So when I saw this comment today, I meant to weigh myself. Interestingly enough, I haven't weighed myself probably in over a year because I noticed that looking at the scale, does so much more damage than it does good. And when you look at that number, especially if you're trying to put on weight, when you're looking at that number and it is not what you want to see, it's very, very unmotivating and it makes you doubt yourself. And for me personally, I just, it made me feel like what I was doing was not working when it was, but the number on the scale just did not reflect that. For my guesstimate, I want to say that I probably put on 10 or 15 pounds. Whether or not it looks like that or not, it's all muscle. <laughs> my light just died. Oh my 
gosh. As you can tell, I'm done with my makeup. I look like a new person. My LED light died, so I was unable to finish the Q&A or get ready with me, so I sincerely apologize. So sorry about the fan. If you guys have been here before, you already know the deal with the fan in the bathroom. I think that's going to be the end of today's video. I'm sorry if I didn't answer your question. We had some technical difficulties. Please make sure to subscribe if you enjoy this video so I know if you like me or not. If you don't like me, don't subscribe because we don't need you here if you don't like me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in my next video. Also, my next video will probably be another very, 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 very emotional video. I'm not prepared for it. If you want to see that video, make sure to turn on post notifications and make sure that you are subscribed. So, I will see you guys in that video.